This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph complex numbers. Section 1, we're going to talk about the coordinate plane we're going to use to graph complex numbers. Section 2, we're going to talk about some examples. We're going to go from uh, complex numbers and graph them. And in section three, we're going to talk about how to graph by showing you the points and then going from those graphed points and then writing the complex numbers. Let's get started. All right, so in this section, we're going to talk about what the complex plane looks like when we have to graph complex numbers. So you'll see that we have a horizontal axis. The horizontal axis will be our real numbers, which I'm going to make with a capital R. Okay, so we'll put real numbers on our horizontal. And then in our vertical axis, we're going to put imaginary. Now this is just a bold I. That's not the number, the Roman numeral 2. It's a bold I. So uh, we now have these axes. And it's important for us to graph using this new set of horizontal and vertical axes because when we take a look at what complex numbers look like and we always write them in the form a plus bi the a is always our real part and the bi part is our imaginary part so that's why there's two different sections of the graph being real and imaginary okay in the next two sections we'll talk about how this graph is then used to do that all right Check it out. All right, in this section, what we're going to do is graph some complex numbers. You notice here I have six complex numbers over here on the left side, and we're going to graph them. Keeping in mind, of course, we got our real and our imaginary parts as shown. So I'm going to put these points as red points. So let's try the first part. First one is A. Let's go to 3. So where's 3? Well, it's just going to be a completely real number. So it's going to be 3 on the real axis. All right, so let's go to B. B is I. So in other words, it's going to be one step up. So it's 0 on the, uh, let's start there, 0 on the real axis, and then one step up on our imaginary axis. So that is B. This is A. All right, and C, where is it? Five. All right, so we go five to the right, and then we're going to go three down. There you go. There's C. Uh, let's go to negative eight. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight on the real axis, negative eight on the real axis, and we go five down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's D. Let's go to negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's negative 4, minus 3, 1, 2, 3, I, there's E. And where's F? Well, we're going to go to negative 4, but now this is going to, we're going to go 3 up this time. And there you go, you've got F. There's our conjugates, F and E. All right, uh, that's what it looks like when we graph complex numbers. All right, let's go to our next section. All right, in this section, what we're going to do is take a look at the points that have been already graphed, and we're going to write down what those complex numbers really are. So let's take a look at A. You'll notice that it is on the imaginary axis, and it's off of the real, so it has all imaginary part. So it's 0 for the real, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6 for the imaginary part. So we'd say it's negative 6i. Let's get to B. B is all real, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It looks like it's just plain old 7 with no imaginary part. C, 2 to the right, 2 down, so that's 2 for the real and minus 2 for the imaginary. Let's talk about D. That's 2 to the right, 2 up, so that's 2 for the real, 2i for the imaginary. E, Let's see, that was 2, so it's 3, 4, so it's 4 to the right, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, lost count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up. <clears throat> and F, it's 2 to the left, 3 up, 2 to the left, 
and it's three imaginary up. And there you have it. There are all the points. So make sure you go to mathguide.com. Uh, you could also check out our interactive quiz, which we'll put a little link up here. Check out our quiz. But make sure you go in general to mathguide.com. We have many quizzes, many videos, and many lessons. Take care.